I believe that para mountain biking could help take para cyclists and anybody who is considered para or adaptive to the next level. I believe that riding on trails fosters a mentality of self-sufficiency and to problem solve and to learn how to get through life's ups and downs. And with road and track, I believe the mentality is that everything is laid out for us and that there is one line that we choose and there's one path that we must take. And if we don't take that path, then we are not going to make it to the elite level. And I don't believe in that. I believe that there's so much individuality to people's personalities and the way that they think and the way that they learn that it's not for one person or one group of people to tell us what we can and cannot do. Everyone knows it at this point, uh, but the way I'm going to train for the Paris Paralympics is to ride my mountain bike because I truly believe that the mountain bike is the tool to help me excel as fast as possible. And if this is what I'm pitching to other people to join me, I have to first show them and demonstrate that what I'm saying is true, at least for me. After getting a pair of mountain biking to be in the Paralympics, I'm gonna go over to the Olympics and try to win a race over there in the Olympics as a para-athlete because and the way that I learned about the Paralympics is that para is meant to stand for parallel because these games were supposed to be put in parallel with the Olympics. But things get lost in translation and a lot of people assume that para stands for paraplegic. But I'm not paraplegic and here I am training for the Paralympics and I think that a truly inclusive game situation is letting para-athletes and able-bodied athletes compete together. Because then, no longer do we have the barrier between para and able-bodied, they're just athletes.